stopping the camera too. So I was waiting time it. You know when I get the bolt ready and everything. Here we'll do it this way. Okay, there you go. And action. <laughs> that, that's okay. Turn idea. it down some and it'll take the pressure off of this. Okay, so. I got enough? No, a little more. There you go. It's good. Band vertical. It's 90 degree. Good. I like butter, David. It's like butter. Okay. Step on that, Jimmy. Everything smooth. Here you go. Keep going, baby. Keep going. All the way. Beauty. That's it. That's what Tony is saying. Yeah, there's more than enough fucking toys to move the equipment from a swing. I want to land it. 42 feet in the air while you're running a spray gun. There's only so much I want to learn, man. Oh, that's good. Yeah, okay. How to compare to what you would have had to do without this? What would you have, what would you have done? Well, we would have had uh, at least two weeks, maybe a week and a half, two weeks of welding, which would have kept these trenches open a lot longer and slowed down the whole process. Hmm. Um, yeah, that would have and taken. How much would that cost? Too? Roughly thousand dollars a day or something for. Yeah, for the welder. For the welder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. It's a, it's a real benefit to our project in that it <clears throat> it allows Dave to to get the underground in and done, and we can start coming back up. Think we would use it again? I think I would. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna we're gonna you know pressure test it up to roughly 5,000 psi, and um, and we're actually gonna try and do a, a pull through the double containment on a short section to see if we can't even. Quick in this process here. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. It's going to be 9:30 this morning, and we've run uh, over 500 feet of three-quarter inch stainless so far. So that's pretty good. With some bending and yeah, coming out. Yeah, you The sheer distance in a day for three-quarter inch. That's that's good. That's good. I'm happy.